And be to dig every church's altar one by one, you, your eyes will be open. And there, they are saying, I am a prophet. And the, so, the so called members that are not ready to repent of their sin are there with them, shouting, shaking their head, die, 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 die. Eh? Die, die, die. Book around, die, die, die. As you are saying that, 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 they will get, they will get to you and finish you. If you don't repent of your sin and tell your neighbors to repent of their sin, he said, in no distant time, You'll be looking for Christians in Nigeria. You will not see. The plan has been concluded. As long as that government is in power, and if they know that they will vote them away, they will finish the work before they are finished. Yeah. I'm saying this, the only saving grace Nigeria has or Christians in Nigeria have is total repentance, cry to God, and God will change their agenda. For your information, get this very clear. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh. The Bible told us in Second Chronicles chapter seven, chapter seven. If you start from verse thirteen, this, I want someone to be reading from there. Okay. Second Chronicles chapter seven, from this one, from verse thirteen to fifteen. Okay, Second Chronicles chapter seven, from. And if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, but see, if my people which are called by my name, if Nigeria Christians that are called by the name of God shall humble themselves in the name of God, shall leave their jet alone. But they stole money to buy for, for some time. If they will leave the schools, they will use the children of God money to build that the children of God cannot attain. If they leave the money 
that that is coming from the hospital that the children of God pay time and offer to build plus the blood money they are doing you know, to build and the children of God cannot foot the bill cannot enter the hospital to children's house if they will take their eyes away from those things and humble themselves before the Lord and pray and seek the face of the Lord and turn from their wicked ways turn from their iniquity all those men with three wives they have made dickness and dickness in their churches tell them the truth man with two wives will be a pastor in the church and I say God is there man we go to church with two wives pastor will divorce his wife marry another one divorce again and again and again and he saying I'm a man of God and the children of God as he saying hey, amen I catch it the Lord is saying if the children of God we hope God themselves repent of their sins seek the faith of God and turn from their wicked ways there will the Lord hear from heaven and we and forgive their sins and we heal the land the land of Nigeria is sick the churches in Nigeria is sick almost dying it's almost dying I give it just few years. I don't want to mention few years. They've totally died. They'll be buried. And he said it's going to be worse than Turkey. Worse than Turkey. The only remedy is if kings, the self-exalted kings as pastor. All those pastors that before they leave the car, a member who is supposed to be bowed down before God, who come and bow down before you and spread the rope on your ground. The pastor says, how can such a pastor pray? How can such a pastor ask God for mercy? The Lord is saying, what is wrong with them? Where do their power lies? All those empty bones they are making before their congregants. Who get where, where do their power lies? The Lord this morning have weighed them. They are equal to empty. All those big big pastors you are hearing of, I don't start calling their name. He have weighed them in his balance. I'm saying this for everyone to hear. He has weighed them in his balance. They are all equal to empty barrens. Nothing. With all their boasting, with all whatever, the, the Lord weighed them. They are all equal to nothing. And their members are looking at them and see there's something. He said, They are nothing. And in no Easter time, Children of God, you will see how empty and nothing your pastor is. They are doing it gradually. They are coming. They, nothing will stop them. We remember some, some year, two years ago or last year. I shouted it here. I'm shouting it again. Before the election in Nigeria, I shouted it. Shouting it again. They're coming. He said, No, my eyes is closed on them. The eyes of the Lord have been closed against them. Unless they they just open their own eyes and see their evil they're doing. 
The only prayer the Lord will answer now in for Nigeria is the prayer for mercy. I mean, genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. You know why? They tell them not to even put their eyes on government. They should just forget the government. The only saving grace Nigeria Christian has now is God. Forget about the government. They will not hear them. They will know what? Hear them. Who is talking about Una de Hey! Hey! You, you, we don't, we don't, we don't understand. Any post you make without God, you are, you are, you are but what? A fly that will roast you. Where is he? Because he's making his boss on his power, not by the power of God. And people were clapping. Hey, let, if anybody touched now the canoe, if, where are the people now? They were both that time. When the python came to dance for them, did they run? Where are those pastors now? Where are those people that are prophesying? Ah, if, if anything happened to this man, when God is not with him, when God was not in support in what, he, in what he was doing, when he was busting on idols of his court of his village, so shall the pastors watch and see they are never dying until their old turn to also die. They will also die you. Tell your big pastor that Apostle Emmanuel, that little boy, say this. Say this. They themselves will also die. They have no escape. They want to quickly go and get their, 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 their whatever, their jet. You will wait for them on the gate. You are not living here. You will die. We have been hearing your post. They just told them now, leave these ones first. Leave this one first, and when they will pick them away, every other member will surrender. Let Mr. Fena mark today. Mark today. Few years to come. Hmm. If these people go now, with all the bulls that they are posting now, and they enter, let me say, winner chapel, and take their man away. In their place and finish it. I tell you, all of them will surrender. Immediately. I am telling you this, and this is the plan. Tell that man to keep his mouth shut. Tell him to keep his mouth shut and go and ask God for mercy. Tell all ye people to keep his mouth shut. Say the Lord of hosts. Tell Apostle Suleiman to keep quiet. Tell all of them, I table you all of them to keep their mouth shut because their death is close to them. If they think they have bodyguards, tell them to just forget about it. They have planned their capture already. Tell them this they have planned their capture already. Where their jet is, is not airport. Tell them the leaders in the airport are all, they are all full of people. That's right. I am not in any area. Tell them the police station they would have run to, they are all there. Tell them that that boy that nobody knows. Hang on the mountain. Say the spirit of the Lord said, I should tell them to keep their mouth shut because they have no hope. Their death is already close to them. Tell all oh, you people, tell all these baby pastors, their death is so close to them. And once they finish them, all their members will surrender to Islam. And the only life they have now. Is a life in repentance. If you like, don't believe me, don't. I'm not saying you should believe it. But when it shall happen, you will 
know that the spirit of Jeremiah is alive. Verse 15 of 2 Corinthians 7. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. So long as all those dry bones of human beings the belly in the altar is still there. Forget about the prayer that prayed there. So long as that beauty, they say the beauty on human blood or the source of men are still there. So do you know what? Most of the churches built in Nigeria are the proceeds of human blood. Mm-hmm. And the proceeds of the souls of their members. And in no distant time, they will pay for it. You know, sir, their heart is already shaking. Because they have blocked them everywhere already. Oh, I hope their eyes will open and quickly do what they have. They have been blocked everywhere. They, they have marked them. All these baby pastors in Nigeria, they have marked them already. They know when they are able to finish those ones. Nigeria falling. The Christians have they are finished. And they just keep quiet now as if they don't know what's happening. Instead of our people, the pastors, to run to God of Israel, who knows what to do. To run to him, who can quench bonfire, the lion of the tribe of Judah in total repentance. They are there making noise. They are there reading the newspaper to their members. <laughs> hey, tell them they are already they are surrounded their church already. Let me say this: those of us who go to a church on Sunday, every Sunday in Nigeria, as you are going. Always remember, you may not come back again. So what you should do as you are going, be asking God for mercy in case it happened. So you know, you know they are done. All the governors that are Christians, they make sure they make the, 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 the render the helpless. Hmm. They make sure the governor will, will come. Ordinary DPO will not answer him. And you cannot do anything about it. I am not there. But they that are there, they don't even know what is happening. The governor now, what they now try to do is to try to gather boys around themselves, get their gun. And that will not solve the problem. The only remedy. It's me, you, the Christians. If we can purge ourselves, repent of our sins, all those idols we are serving, drop the idols, and serve God in holiness the way He demands us to serve Him. I tell you, the first thing we do is first of all bring peace, and if we enthrone a Christian, that will make the people to have life again. Without that, Nigeria is sitting on what? Sir, on what? Time bomb. Explosive powder. Time bomb. Explosive powder. Ah. You know, this is what ah, Nigeria was a nation, was a nation of high population of Christians. Where are they? I give an example just now. Okay. I give example of the church just now. Every member there believes that nothing can do that man. Every member in Winners Chapel put their hope, their trust on that man of God. That is untouchable. When they will see the way they will handle him, the way they will do to him, 
everyone that put that trust in him will surrender to this now. So, if him, the Adebuye and the rest, know what is good for them, let them bow to Jesus now in holy because in no certain time they will bow to Islam. I'm telling you this. If they refuse to bow to Jesus in holiness and righteousness, all those oh, I pity these people, all those that are big church they are busy, they will all turn to mosque very soon. Mark today. If Christ tarry, all these big, big churches that they are building, the, the only thing they need to do is to come and put that on top. That's like a drum, Muslim uh, symbol. But the church is already high enough. And most of them, they are able to build that church as a mosque. Just to come and they do the top and put that thing, that thing on top there, the mosque have come. The Bible told us in James chapter 2, verse 13. James 2, 13. Please, right there, you can read it. Thank you. For he shall have judgment. Praise the Lord. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. Hallelujah. This is what is happening in Nigeria. For he shall have judgment without mercy. Mercy cannot be shown to the churches in Nigeria because they don't show mercy. There's no mercy in their heart. All these baby pastors have no mercy in their heart. If they have mercy, they cannot buy one jet, two jet, three jet. Why? Their members are languishing in poverty. One jet can take care of all the members. The, the money for one jet, I tell you, can make all the members rich. Invest on them. The jet is three hundred ninety million naira to buy one three dollars. Three hundred ninety million dollars to buy one. Three hundred ninety million dollars. Their churches, their member, are yeah, there all to three million people? Mm. No, are they all to three hundred million people? Yes. Yeah. One jet, the price of one jet can give each member maybe 50, 50 million naira. I'm converting dollar now to naira now. It means each of these pastors that you people are running after that have two, three jets, one of the jets can make everybody in the church rich. One of the jets can establish a very gigantic company that will employ the members. They will be gainfully employed. But because they have refused to show the members mercy, the same members will go and farm. And this time around, they are telling members uh, uh, first, first of the first fruit, uh, whatever. First fruit, they what they call it. First fruit uh, of the year. Your first fruit is your soul. Give it to God. Their souls have not been given to God. They are telling poor market woman. Who will fake cassava on the rate to come and pay you that's already wealthy? First fruit. You are telling your members who cannot afford to pay house rent. Maybe their house rent is maybe 10,000 a month. The money they receive that month maybe is maybe 8,000. They have to go and borrow a little one from Stair Go to add to it to complete the house rent. You tell them, bring your first fruit, don't pay your house rent. With God, we do that. 
with God will do that. I don't think the God and Postman and Men can tell you to do that. Except on your own willingly. Willingly, you, you check yourself. Okay? Say you preaching it. Hey, bring your first fruit. Hey, your first fruit. And out of here, and when they are preaching, they'll be laying curse on it. When they are preaching, they'll be saying some things to make the people fear. Uh, these poor members, these poor people, we go and get their head and end salary. Go and give to somebody who already have four jets. Which God are you giving that first fruit to? If not that they have torn your brain up the other way around. Is it the same church that they have school already? The pastor is wealthy. Any pastor that have four limousine, have Jeff or Jeremy's limousine and other cars are everywhere. You go and carry your 1,000 or so. You sweat. Go and give to him and say, my first fruit. Who did the pastor give his first fruit to? Hmm? Who did the, who, which God now that the pastor now gives his first fruit to? That's where God gives the God heaven first fruit. If the Lord is not convince you, I know that you are okay. No problem. But say, because one man threatens you, one man preach about it. That's why you went to go and carry him, and you'll be in debt. If you die in that debt, you go to hell. You give your first fruits to your pastor that don't care about you, and you will not go after borrowing. That is what they are doing in Nigeria. For me to even preach about tithe is 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 hard. To preach about no, I don't even first of first fruits, I don't even go there. I said, if you by yourself, check yourself. I, I'm okay. This is what the Spirit of God tell me to do. Uh, okay. I will not argue with you. It's a shame. For he shall have judgment without mercy. And the church in Nigeria are getting their judgment without mercy. But there's no mercy in their heart. No mercy in them. You don't care about the poor. There are busy schools. Schools that the poor people cannot attend. Busy hospitals. Hospitals that the poor people cannot enter. Even, even their primary school, the lowest one. The poor people who are paying time in the church cannot enter, cannot attend it. Ah, uh, you still see some members. You see some people. I tap into the, the word of my, my 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 spiritual father. I put money there. Shame. You are tapping into more poverty. Those of you who went to go and give them first fruit and you are borrowing. If right your take place, just you are you are leaving, you are staying behind. And if you die in that foolishness, you are on your way to hell. Straight to hell. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. 3 verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God, mm. holy and beloved, powers of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, 
meekness, long suffering. Hallelujah. If you say you are a man of God, a, a prophet as you are prophet, as you are saying, this is a message for you. Put on therefore as the elect of God, as you call yourself, holy and beloved, bearer of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. Long suffering. And if you go further, more, more, and more. But no! No! You say you're a prophet, lost socket prophet. A prophet? You will read big deep. You are coming to the church. You see some, oh, the God will judge these people if they don't repent. God will judge them without mercy because they are refused to show mercy to the people the Lord Jesus Christ died for. They gathered the people as if they gathered them in the cage and begin to merchandise them. You say, what's wrong with them? Don't they know that they have a few years and their death is already close to them now? If they don't know, they are sitting to tell them they are the compassed about and their heart is already filled them because they know that they are no bad. If you don't repent. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Hallelujah. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall what? obtain mercy. God is the wicked, for they shall be paid back with their wickedness. Cause are they that do evil, because the wages of evil is evil. The wages of evil, what? Is evil. Blessed are the merciful, for the Lord will show them mercy. How will God show the church mercy when they have not shown their own soul's mercy? When they are refused to repent of their sins? When you cannot differentiate between a discord party and the church? Where you cannot defend a cinema hall with the church of God. There's some a word my mother used to say those days. If the owner of a cloth called Iraq, the person that does not own it will use the sweet ground to clean ground. <laughs> that is what is happening in Nigeria now. See the Christian does not buy their souls. The house, the house men, or whatever they call them, are helping them to send to where they want, they want to go to. See, they have decided to turn a holy house of God. The Bible says, the Lord is going to say to the people, the house of, the, of my father is the house of prayer. And I have turned it into a den of Amrabas. The politicians will go and lose treasury. They come and give it to you. You will not add them. Where do you see this money? You are saying you are a man of God. Your days are not bad. Your days are not bad. Most of your members are doing business that you cannot give account of. What do you do? I may be this man. You don't ask them what kind of business. Rituals. You will see a boy of 20 years of 80 driving a exotic car to your church and drop a fat envelope on your table. You will not ask him or her, where do you get this money from? 
And when they ask them, okay, I'm a business person, business, at the age of 20, you are driving this kind of car. And you say, what kind of business do you do? Now, you, 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 follow this man, go and check the business he's doing. As far as money comes, no problem. Somebody called me from UK one time. Say, man of God, I want to pay tithe to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the church. If you not pay by yourself, I don't know, no problem. But if you come to tell me you want to pay tithe, I must ask you some questions. Hey, sir, uh, please send me a car, sir. I want to pay tithe. Say, hey, okay. What do you do for the living? He said, does that matter? Uh, if it doesn't matter to you, it matters to me. Well, where is the money of your tithe coming from? Where? I just wanted to be of help. You cannot help God. Though. Don't tell me you just wanted to be of help. You want to help God? You cannot help God. The God I'm serving, you can't help Him. You are the one that needs help from Him. Okay. If it's so, I go. Go! Go with your tithe and allow me to make my help. Don't tell me you want to help my God. God, you can't help me. You can't help me. See that day, the person did not call again. I believe if that same sister now go to another church, another pastor sit there and tell her this, she will do a So let me repent. If I preach the same message here, they go to the deal, the same message. They go to wherever, the same holy message. I say people will start repenting. So people call me the other day, say I should come out and do marriage for them. I say that kind of marriage, I cannot do it. I cannot involve myself in such a marriage. This and this and this must, must be done. Mr. Danny, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Last week here, say, man of God, be prayed for us. So say, what kind of prayer is that? So that last of two ways. Uh, we are we have got it where now. Be prayed for our marriage. Say me, be prayed for such a marriage. Tell your pastor that where they did be prayed for you, pray for that marriage. If as I've told them the truth, they go to another church, they tell them the truth. I tell you, people will repent of their sin. If I put them here, the other one put them there, I tell you, Christians. We be repenting and heaven will be rejoicing. But if I put it here, they have another place of coverage. I remember during the election that time. Why we are shouting here? This man, look at the plan that this one is planning. No. I was surprised to see the general vassal of deeper life. I called him. Sit down, they were interviewing him. How do you say about this election? I know, right? Uh, my members don't vote for people because of uh, of religion. Uh, vote to anybody you know it can give you change because you know that they're still worried for change. I quote him. He's still on YouTube. How can you tell a Christian to be voting for an unbeliever when the Bible saying? Don't make an equally yoke. You preach one message and do another thing. I'm talking about uh what's it? Come on. Come on. Say what? Yeah, if this man hears from God, God would have spoke to him when he's sitting down there. And I told my members, I told my congregants, no, they, they, they know how to speak English. I told my congregants uh that uh it's not, it's not vote based on religion, based and uh, vote for somebody you know. Uh, it's bringing change for you people. The change that come now. The change that come, and uh, very soon they will change that is church to 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 Islam. To Islam. So what is this man saying? You preach yesterday. 
I shall not make an equal yoke with an unbeliever. And uh, today you are saying, tell your people, vote for anybody as far as it can be changed. Can set a free change. It's not possible. No matter how an unbeliever is good, Satan can use him at any time. Even if the person tried to be good, as far as it's not the Christ, the devil can use him. All the pastors, redeem and all, you are all campaigning for change. The change has come now. Even redeem, they gave them a, a vice president. The man is enjoying it. The man is there enjoying his own self. I don't know what the kind of God they are serving of. I don't know the kind of God that does not speak. I don't know where they get their God from. Thank God rescue them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. I said, go please go on. Just take your car, go and wait for me in uh, um, Maya chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. This is Michael chapter 6, verse 8. 6, verse 8. Michael chapter 6, verse 8. It's a, he has shown thee, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of thee, mm. but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Hallelujah. He has shown you, a man, what you ought to do. Nigeria, be big pastors. I pray that I follow them. Even this morning, it says in my spirit that even those ones that say they are preaching holiness, also their heart is even worse than those ones that are not preaching it. Their heart is also seared up. They cover their face with religious preaching. But their heart is like a lawyer looking for to devour. They are showing you, old man, what is good and what does the Lord require of thee? But to do justly, let us be just in everything we are doing. Do justly. And to love mercy. And to work humbly. With our God. But no, the devil has taken the matter of humbleness from them. They have turned themselves into the God that their members are not serving. Members that cannot bend their knees before God. When the pastor is coming to be, to be hit ahead of the ground, is that not a shame? They have succeeded in planting their own fear into the heart of their members and they have removed the fear of God from them. When the members see their pastor ask for mercy every day, they will know it's a serious matter. If their member, if the members see their pastor always crying for mercy, they will know it's the way to follow. But in a place where that word N D R O C E will be mentioned maybe once in a year, so that it's not even mentioned. How will those person, those people remember what they're saying? In a place where you cannot speak about judgment, about hell, about heaven. All they are talking about is prosperity prosperity, 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 prosperity. How will those people know that they are sinning? Ah, a place where the choir master and the prayer band will do nonsense. A place where a guitar man will play guitar, say in church with church They are playing guitar, and people are dancing with church gum with their raster on their head, with earrings on their ear. Play guitar and I say the Holy Spirit is here. Hello, Father, have mercy. There's a way out. There's 
it was? There is. Okay. Yeah. The Maya was the foreign land. And he heard what was happening in his country. He did something. Which is ready to do something today. If you are ready, shout out, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. The Maya was not there with him. I read verse 1 in Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. Amen. This one, the word of the, the word of Nehemiah, the son of Hashalia. And it came to pass in the month Chislu, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan the palace, verse 2, that Hanani, one of my brother, came. He and seven men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. Verse 3 And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in a great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gate thereof are born with fire. For, and it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. 5. And he said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him, and observe his commandments. Verse 6. Let thy ear now be attentive, and thy eyes open, that thou mayest hear and prayer of the servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night. For the children of Israel, the servant, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's sons have sinned. Verse 7. You see a humble man. You see, I put this way, you see a humble man of God. When you have heard it, it's not carrying Mike, as I say, hey, all those bad people, I will deal with them as a prophet and professor of God in the die. No. The Bible says, he humble himself before God, but he knows the only son of power is God. He said, I confess before the God of Israel and said, My father and I, we are sin against you. But all these baby pastors will make their member to understand that they don't say, well, anyway, blood is in their blood. They don't drink blood now before they came to the people to the people. And if my member hear that I'm confessing sin, they will lose faith. No. I and my people have sinned against me. Both I and my father's house have sinned. And have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept thy commandment, nor the statute, nor the judgment which thou hast commanded. The servant Moses, it remember I beseech thee the word that thou commanded. The servant Moses saying, If you transgress, I will scatter you. This is God for you. If you trust, and now they are saying, God, come and fight for us. Come ahead, God, so fight. He will scatter you and destroy them all. The Lord will not join rebel to fight to fight rebel. The Lord will not join the enemy to fight the enemy. The Christians in Nigeria, they are enemy of God. Most, most of them. And those of them that say they are, they are holy, they are neither here or here. Is it those ones that will preach one? If you know that this very one is hard to preach. They will, they will reduce it, they will remove it so that people will not run away. Where is the holiness in Nigeria that is not, is not complete? They will see what the Bible is saying, they will, they will say another one. Where are they? Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. See, see if you transgress, I will scatter you abroad and among this nation. Nigeria oh now, they have no nation to go. They are not scattered either, they are killing them. Safedan, did you hear it? I did. For the one from Nigeria, 
It is not scattered into nations. Okay? Die and come to hell. That is what is happening. Somebody wrote me today. He said, I'm going to have myself for my parents. I go ahead and say my people in the video, they are crying. I said, if they don't also repent, they will laugh quite perish. What you should do for your parents is God to touch them, not for God to fight for them. Tell them that they should repent, but only remnants will be remaining. Those that seek God, you will have righteousness. That will be found in the book of Luke, chapter 13, rather. 13? 1 to 5, please. You can read that place for us. Luke 13. Luke 13. Luke 13. Uh, guess who? Luke 13. 1 to 5. I read. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 13, 1 to 5. So. There, were present at that, there were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. So, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffer such things? Pray. I tell you, nay. Nah. But except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. How many of them? How many of them perish? Four. Oh. Okay. I understand. Four. Of those 18 upon whom the tower in Salem fell and slew them, think you that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? Five, I tell you, nay. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the, the message, the same Jesus Christ is sent to Nigeria Christians now. Think ye that those ones that are dying in Kano, in uh, whatever, but but who state? Benue. Benue. Benue, yes, sir. Benue. Benue state or whatever that killed them. Think ye that they are worse? Say no. If those Christians in Lagos, in Ibadan, in whatever, in a state, wherever you are, refuse to repent. You will likewise be slaughtered. Why? You are surrounded already. All they just need is to tell them, do it. And if they do it, they will not be broadcast about it. Nothing will happen. If you refuse to repent, your eye is seeing what is happening to the rest now? Very soon, other people eyes will see your own. Sir, those ones they slaughtered some days ago, they once saw the ones they slaughtered before. Thank you, you get that? And they beat those ones. Hey, what is this? What is this? Now, their, their own now has come. Others are seeing their own. I tell you, if Nigeria Christians do not repent of their sins and turn to God in holiness and in righteousness and do away with their gods, so shall they be seen their flesh scattered until the last one is scattered. And then Nigeria will become an Islamic nation. Few years to come, it will happen. You know why? Believe it or not, the plan of how to capture the living pastor because they know their they they are followers are like goats. They believe them so much. While they capture those one and slaughter them, all the members become Islam. You will call your father one day and say, God bless you. They will say, I don't know how to say that thing. Because they are the ones that are going to be slaughtered. Why? Because they are the ones that are going to be slaughtered. 
we live how we are now, we are now Malik Alaku. If that will not happen, we must act now as the Nehemiah. I was here that day when uh, Mr. Feather's father called him. He speak Hebrew. If you don't pay attention to coming, you will speak Hebrew for your father. If you don't speak Hebrew, you will speak uh, Arab. agenda. Christians, we are busy pursuing prosperity. We forgot mercy. Which of the imam, what they call them, you see, have all those jets and all. You cannot, you can never see it. You have most of them here. You will not know the, you will not know the, you will not know the difference between the imam and the members. If you go there, all of them sit down and say the same as love. But now you see our churches, they will go to design pastors' work. Pastors' chair. Pastors will be moving, come where we follow. Imam and members will close from church, all of them will use leg to. Oh, sir. If, if if it was the other way, if it was most that Christ just Christ come to, I tell you, heaven would have a food. Or like we decide, like poet children. Christians are like what poet children. You get me? Mm-hmm. Christians are like pampered, pampered and spoiled children. If you talk to me, my father will beat you. Is that, is that not what you are doing? Hey, don't touch me. If you touch me, I call my father for you. That is what we are doing. I always call you God. Hey, God, find them, find them, find them, kill, kill, kill. They say they are planning, executing. The father will say, Come and fight for us. We don't even know him. We don't know him. Praise that be Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise those who will see the patient enough to pray with me. To pray. Because I can't jump into prayer when you don't know the, the gravity. Of what is happening. I was one for that. If you go anywhere, before you start doing deliverance or anything, make sure. Tell them the word first of all. Take more time for the word. Daniel chapter 9, verse 1. I'm stopping there. 
I mean, when I went, I'm explaining this, and I went out some verses that come from my memory. This Daniel chapter 1, 9, that is chapter 9, verse 1 to 11. He said, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 1 In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the uh, Tari. Verse 2 In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Je Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the solutions of Jerusalem. 3 And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek my, by prayer and supplications, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Praise the Lord. And, Hallelujah. Uh, I want you to take that three step by step. And uh, let the Nigerian Christians and their pastors see what they should do. That's three. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Now, do you know the meaning of that sackcloth and ashes? It's a sign of repenting. A sign of I am sorry, brokenness. Son of Father, I repent of my sin. The sense of total humbleness, forgetting everything you think you have. Bearing yourself under his feet to ask him for mercy. Well, here we are. We are refused to do so. The grand pastors are busy thinking about the income of come to the church. They are, all they are doing now is to price the latest jet, price the latest car, instead of them to go on their knees, begging for mercy. I don't know. Four, and I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O oh Lord, the great and dreadful, dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to, to, to them, them that keep it the cover and mess of do to what? I love God. Now, how do you show you love God? John 50, John 50, 40 now. If you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Okay, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. Verse 5. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from that precept and from that judgment. 6. Neither have we hearkened unto their servant, the prophet, who spake in their name to our king our princes and our fathers and to all the people of the land. Seven, O oh Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us conf confusion of faces as at, at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. Eight, O oh Lord, to us belongeth confusion of the face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our father, because we have sinned against thee. Nine, to the Lord our God belongeth mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Ten, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servant, the prophet. Level, end the level, please. I mean, 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed their law, even by the passing, that they, they might not obey their voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Praise Master Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. You see, the man is paying such a prayer now. A man, the Bible says, you have an excellent spirit. You cannot have excellent spirit in sin. It's not possible. You cannot have excellent spirit in iniquity. A man that commune with God face to face. Was he saying, I am a father of sin. We have not obeyed you. That's why when I say on this mountain, when anybody tell you have sinned, don't argue, just go to the Lord and ask for mercy. When you hear somebody confess, just be confessing too. Even if you are not the one that do it, be confessing. This is what this man did here. I am a father of sin. This man no know what is called. What they did never concerned him. From his youth, he had been a perfect child. A man with excellent spirit. A man that fear God. A man with, with high spiritual ability. See his confession. But you see our baby pastor there. With their hands are filled with blood. Who go from one woman to the other. Who use virgin to get the anointing, whatever they say they, they, they get. They will be pretending as if they don't sin. And you expect God of heaven, a holy and righteous God, to come down and fight for such people? No, he will join his men to fight them. He will join the reform Boko Haram to fight them. The glory of God has departed from them. The church in Nigeria, they are not manifesting the Holy Spirit again. They are not manifest, they are not manipulating themselves. A difference between manifesting and manipulating. Go to one native daughter and get whatever they get and start doing whatever doing their nonsense they are doing. And it's time for them to pay for it if they don't confess. Dig their altars and pack the bones and go to the family that owns those bones. They must locate the families. I said, that your daughter, you were for that time. They killed it. This is the bone of them. This one. The ones that, oh God, people are evil. And such pastor will have the boldness to carry Mike and start declaring on his men. Start declaring on Boko Haram. Start declaring on people. As if God does not see, God sees them. But here we are today. If you have also shared blood, you better confess it now. Also confess your own. If you have shed innocent blood. Maybe your own, you share blood in the Kobo. Confess it. If you want to do it now, after the service, go and call the people that own the people, the people you kill. You join them to kill in the Kobo and confess your sin. Why? Because your own will be worse. You that scatter home, scatter marriage, they are not better than he that kill. You are all the same. Hmm? They are the same. Just line up and down. Scary friends, they are the same. So we're going to go on our knees now. I don't know how you will do your own. Go on your knees. First of all, purge your own self. Once again, you see, if you, can, if you don't know what to pray about, just take that Daniel chapter 9, verse, from verse 3 down. Prayer point out there, how you pour out yourself. Or go to Nehemiah. Chapter from chapter one from verse four down. We have seen. We Nigeria have seen. My father have seen. My mother have seen. I have seen. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive those pastors and open their eyes to know the evil they are doing to themselves. Forgive our brothers and sisters, Lord. 
and open their eyes to see what is around them. Death is looming about them. With all the money they have, their money will be, will be joined to Islamic money just now, very soon. The Muslims are not bothered about those jets because very soon it becomes become their own jet. And they use it then to go to Mecca if we don't repent and cry for mercy. Are you out there? As the others are crying for mercy now, are you out there? You're not born again. You must be first of all born again. As your prayer is going away. The says for the family. If you know you are not born again, as the rest are asking God for mercy, because no time it can happen now. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. As your word I said, it says John 1 9. But if I confess my sin before thee, you are faithful and just to forgive. And to clean me from all my iniquity. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, worthy of eternal damnation. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your soap. And purge me with your blood. I accept you today as a Lord and personal Savior. I renounce the devil and his works. Come into my life and dwell in me, Lord. I go now to sin no more. For old things have passed away. New life begins from here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So please, just mind your business, sister. Be praying for mercy. Leave me as the one that are coming now. Well, Those of us who are already born again, please just be praying for mercy. On behalf of your parents, yourself, the government, on behalf of those pastors who don't even care about themselves, pray for them. Those pastors who value money more than their own, their own souls, pray for them. I can open their eyes to know what they are doing to themselves. As I pray for these ones that have just joined us now. Father, I thank you for your word. Ancient of days, I thank you for the light in your word. I have shown we are this hour. Father, they have confessed their sins. And they said they are ready to leave the devil and his darkness alone. Father, I ask for grace, O God, to hold on to holiness and righteousness. I ask, O God, that the confession they have made today will not stand against them on the last day. Jesus, I ask for the strength to run this race, O oh God. Father, whatever will make them to go back to sin, take it away today. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus Christ, my name I pray. Amen. Amen. But then, wherever you are, you have confessed this confession. I tell you, heaven rejoices over you. And the grace to live a holy life and righteous life be given to you today. I will see sin and hate it the way God hates it. Amen. Love righteousness the way God loves righteousness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, the rest of us, let's all keep, keep on asking God for mercy. Pray. You can shout, shout it. Yeah. You can do it. Do it. I'm not giving time until the Spirit. Is convinced that at this because if I will, if one God is a man, I see the gap. 
Many of us can cry genuinely, I tell you. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Twitter? Wherever. Many of us can genuinely take a part. Our fathers in the land of we have told you that God, we are worshiping other God. Father, mercy, Baba. Father, mercy upon Nigeria, Baba. We have seen the gates, Baba. Father, you have turned your back against your country, Baba. Father, mercy, Baba. You are the God of mercy, Baba. Please be blessed. Have mercy upon Nigeria, Baba. We pray. We have gone after other God, Baba. We have Jesus, I 
Jesus, we have finished with all police, 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 Amen. Amen. The prayer of mercy is powerful. Those those workers on this mountain, I send us a tape, a record, a record message today. How somebody will reckon I will deal with this sister, I will do this, I will do that. But what we are doing here is, Father, have mercy. Have mercy and defend your daughter. And the daughter of God kept her hand clean and began to ask for mercy. And the Lord God Almighty fought her battle for her. May God have mercy upon you. The next thing is to fight for you. Let me, wait, let me just quickly do this. Peace with you, he surely will. Are you hearing? Yeah, it's clear. Yes, sir. Problem is, she's the one that's driving me around with, with my desire. So, when God said that word, He will make the enemies then be at peace with you, he surely will. And I thank the Lord God Almighty for you know your prayers and everyone. I give God all the glory because today, if I praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. When God says He will make your enemy to be a peace, He will surely will. He did it, but He cannot do it. There's a clause before that. Then, if your way pleases God, He will make your enemy to be a peace with you. Somebody that wanted to destroy you is not, is not the one carrying you up or down. Only God can do that. Mm. Why? Because she surrendered herself to God. He decided to go to God and say, Father, have mercy upon me. And the Lord God Almighty should have mercy. Mm. And this is our confession now. When the Lord says, I will make your enemy to be happy, surely you will. And I tell you, if we can also make ourselves to be right with God, because of you and I, the Lord will show mercy to Nigeria. Amen. Amen. Just a word from above, it will all draw their arm. Amen. We are not here to say, hey, God, kill, kill, or, 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 or Boko Haram, kill, uh, Fulani has men. I tell you, if one of them is they repent, I tell you, the Lord will use them to pull every other of them, just as he did. Number one, Boko Haram was Apostle Paul. Mm-hmm. Apostle Paul was a Boko Haram. That's true. You know, that name. He did worse than this, what this one did. I believe the churches were praying. No, hey, hey, God, we saw what we read that day in, in uh, Acts. There was no way to say, come and kill them. Give us the power to preach boldly to do your will. If you are talking about spiritual power, those demons, it's, it's another case, apparently. But these ones are what people like us. They're going to pray. Father, I am ready to make my way right with you. 
Jesus locate every everything in my life. I come to you the way I am. Search out my sin. Out. I represent my parents here. I represent my brothers and sisters. I represent the church in Nigeria. We are sin. Call us, oh God. Make, our, make us right with you. And make the enemies to be at peace with us. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, in my God, Baba, Father, Lord, Father, Lord, have against you. We and our Father, Baba, we have rebelled against you, Baba. Father, please have mercy, Baba. Have mercy upon us, O God, and forge our enemies. Father, forge our enemies, Baba. Father, mercy.